Greetings of peace. Welcome to this introduction to the Rue Foundation's weekend. In this weekend, I teach the healing science of unconditional happiness. In Rue Healing, we say happiness and fulfillment regardless of the circumstances. Now, that's a pretty audacious saying because there's a lot of really painful circumstances that happen to us in our lives and keep us from having the kind of lives we really want. Now, these situations, what I call situations, are things that are outside of our control that literally stop us from moving forward with the life we want. Now, whenever we get upset about something in our lives, whether it's an illness or the behavior of our spouse or children, the opportunities we're not getting at work, or any other setback in our lives, we want to stop and realize, hey, I'm not at peace right now, and begin this process of self-discovery. During this weekend, I'm going to teach you three things. The first is how to understand yourself, your motivations, what you care about, where you're trying to get to. The second is understand the nature of your pain. And then the third is how to discover the road of freedom and how regardless of the circumstances of your life, happiness is still possible. There's a way for you to reach it and you have everything you need to achieve it. You see, when we have a situation in our lives, what it does is it stops us from having the kind of things we want. Now, we want to be healthy and we want to have a cooperative spouse and children. We want to have opportunities at work. Because when we have those things, they allow us to take actions and live our lives in a way and do things that we believe are going to result in a positive experience of the world and ourselves. You see, we want the things, we want to have certain things in our lives because we know that if we have those things, it's going to result in a positive experience. That can be having the experience of being loved. That can be the experience of being successful. That can be the experience of feeling confident and powerful and on top of your game. You see, when a situation comes and it ruins what we want to have, and instead of getting what we want, we get something that's the opposite of that, something really painful. The reason that upsets us is now we can't do what we want to do. We're forced to take actions that we would never take if it weren't for this darn situation. Now, what happens, unfortunately, is instead of that resulting in an experience, a positive experience of the world and ourselves, it results in a negative experience of the world. And we get caught between these two things, the lives we hoped we had and the lives we feel stuck with. Now in healing, I call this the tower of dreams and the tower of nightmare. And stress, the definition of stress is longing for one life, but feeling stuck in another because of circumstances outside of our control. The literal definition of depression is the inability to construe a positive outcome to our circumstances because of things that are happening to us. Now, these stress, frustration, anxiety, depression, is literally what we feel when we long for this world but feel stuck for that because we're frustrated with what we're stuck with. We don't like it, but we don't see any way out. Or we're depressed because we really longed for this and we wanted it, but we don't see any way to achieve it. Or we're scared because we think to ourselves, man, if I don't resolve this, where's my life headed? I'm going to miss out on this and I'm going to be stuck with that. Now, unfortunately, what we have here is we have the tower of our dreams and we have the tower of our nightmare. We have the lives we've hoped for, and we have the lives we feel stuck with. But what we're missing is the life we were meant for. You see, these situations, they certainly cut off the life we hoped we had, and it feels as if that because of these, we're destined for a life of misery. But healing is not about just achieving what you hoped for and getting out of misery. It's discovering the life you were meant for. When you discover that ridiculous and unbelievably happy life that's open to you regardless of the circumstances, you're going to experience a fulfillment, a happiness, and a peace that really goes beyond just getting what we want and really touches into singing that song we were meant to sing. So what we need to do is break out of this paradigm of our ideas of happiness and our fears of what's going to be left if we can't have them and discover how that divine road is open to us regardless of the circumstances. Now, that's where the rubber hits the road, and that's what we're going to be covering in these weekends. I'm going to show you how to understand yourself, your motivations, what you want, why you want it, and what you're really seeking. And then to really go into the unconscious mind and feel, well, why does it hurt so much when you don't get it? What do you feel stuck with? And what, what are these roles, these what I call mistaken identities you feel destined to play? By making this conscious, this pattern conscious, you can choose. And you can discover a life that's beyond having this and being stuck with that and really the life you're meant for. So if you're interested, I hope you'll join me. I have a free Friday night that I do before every Foundations workshop. 
If you're not sure, you want to hear some more about this, come on out on Friday night. I'll show you the complete healing process in that lecture, and I'll do lots of examples and answer questions so you can see where you find yourself on this chart. Because when you discover the life you're meant to live, you, it's, you don't just leave stress behind. There's no medicine like real happiness. When you're singing that song you were meant to sing, you're going to experience a fulfillment and a joy that's beyond even your hopes and dreams. I hope to see you on the Friday night. I hope I can see you on the weekend. And blessings.